my channel so in today's class i am discussing about the concept called our environment so students uh, good morning to each and everyone and welcome to each and everyone who have joined to today's live session so we have discussed so many topics so far ivattin varigu sakashtu topics na discuss madidivi iga our environment anta heldaga okay our environment anta heldaga it's very important to note down so it is three two to three marks ke questions kelta nimge so our environment anta heldaga two to three marks ke nimge questions keltare and these two to three marks you can get very easily okay so ivattina class alli nan nimge complete aagi two to three marks ke our environment alli yavudu idella concept na complete aagi focus maadkolbeku anta ki nan yen ili file ek nimge ili disclose maartta idini ಸೊ ಇದು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇದೇ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಏನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಸೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀನಿ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಕವರ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅವರ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಂದ ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಗೆ ಓದ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾದಂತ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕವರ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಾಚ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ನೋಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ನಾನು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಚಾನೆಲ್ ನ ಪ್ಲೇ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಲೈವ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಚಾನೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಸರೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ and in this environment there are two things which are majorly seen one is the living thing and one more is the non living thing we call the living things as the biotic things or biotic factors or biotic components similarly we call non living things as abiotic components or abiotic factors okay see along with this i will be also uh, discussing some of the question answers okay some of the question answers related to our environment lesson which is asked in all these years So there are so many things to discuss in today's class this will be definitely going to help you okay so good morning to each and everyone who are present in today's live children okay so let me start the class then the children when i say our environment i told you there are two things which which is very importantly we have to note down one is the biotic thing and second one is an abiotic things see there is some interaction between these two things there is interaction there is connectivity between the living thing and non living thing see we say biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem okay see in this ecosystem eco is means what eco is nothing but environment in this environmental system or ecosystem all the living components they depend on each other children okay why do they depend on each other also you have to know they depend on each other for their food okay for their food they are depending on each other and they are giving rise to a food chain and also food webs in nature the one organism is depending on another as they are interdependent on each other they are forming the food chain okay they are forming the food chain and also they are forming the food web in the nature so this is what i am going to teach you in the further uh, in today's class and you also have to know that all the human activities in our environment are causing the environmental problems so what are some of the environmental problems some of the environmental problems like say depletion of ozone layer or maybe the production of huge amount of garbage okay these are the two segments which we focus in this lesson okay if ivatina lesson alli ee erdu segment these are the two activities that we are focusing that that is causing the damage to the environment okay yes let us now start with the first concept ecosystem okay what is meant by ecosystem anta kelbodu exam alli for one mark okay see all the interacting organisms in an area together with the living components and non living components we can say the abiotic and biotic components okay interacting organisms in an area together with biotic and abiotic or living or non living is called an ecosystem it forms an ecosystem there for example pond and also the forest so when i say forest and pond in the forest there are so many trees there are so many microorganisms there are so many birds those there are so many animals they are depending on each other correct and even in the when i say pond this is an aquatic life so here the organisms are depending on the water and in the water there are so many small organisms and large organisms 
and tiny plants they are also depending on each other so there is an interaction so there is an interaction between these organisms to form an ecosystem we say so now that we so let us focus on the types of ecosystem the first type of ecosystem is natural ecosystem and second one is the artificial ecosystem see based on this they have given an activity question you can see that they have given an activity activity question in the textbook here okay it is in the 15.1 i'll just discuss that also here so when i said natural ecosystem natural in the sense in the sense everything is nature you know provided by the nature or it is natural okay so this is an ecosystem which exists in the nature on its own say so for example forest lake ocean pond okay all these are the natural ecosystem because this is not been created by the human being similarly when i say artificial ecosystem it is completely you know made up of human so it is a man made ecosystem example crop fields in the crop field the plants okay and uh, the supple supplement of water to that and involvement of microorganisms because of this activity all is been created by the human being similarly when i say aquarium see we take a tank and we pour water for it we bring the fish we provide uh, food for it and we remove the unwanted materials and all these things has been you know done by the man then it is called as artificial ecosystem okay similarly the garden also so it's very important to know that so you know what is the difference between the natural ecosystem and also the artificial ecosystem what is the difference between the natural and also the artificial ecosystem okay let us now continue to understand the components of ecosystem what are the components of ecosystem see the components of ecosystem are biotic components that is nothing but uh, sorry abiotic components which is nothing but non living components and biotic components which is nothing but the living components so what are some of the abiotic components see some of the examples are air water land temperature rainfall all these are the abiotic components because they do not have life they don't have life hence they are called as abiotic components when we talk about biotic components they have life examples plants animals microorganisms all these are the biotic components and these biotic components are further classified into you know some of the subgroups they are producers consumers and decomposers who are producers producers are always autotrophs children producers are always autotrophs who are autotrophs autotrophs are the green plants which prepare their own food green plants which manufacture their own food we will call it as autotrophs and the producers are always autotrophs and these consumers they depend on producers okay and decomposers they depend on consumers okay it's very important it's like a food chain okay let us now understand further that different uh, you know uh, types of consumers firstly we have herbivore followed by carnivore omnivore and parasite let me now tell you who are first of all decomposers who are decomposers they depend on dead and decaying organic substances decomposers are the organisms which depend on dead and decaying organic matter or organic substances we say so they are called as decomposers so who are called herbivores already you know in the lower classes also have learned these are the group of organisms which depend on plants for their survival okay and carnivores they depend on herbivores for survival omnivores they completely depend on both plants as well as animals for their survival okay then who are called parasites parasites are the organisms which depend on the host for further survival they depend which depend on host who are host say for example see in our body there are worms there are worms in our body in your stomach there are worms how these worms are getting food these worms are getting food from you correct now from you it is getting food when you eat food that food get digested and the digested food is absorbed by the worms and now who are the host for worms you are the host for the worms so the worms are called as parasites now okay the worms are called as the parasites i think you are able to clearly understand my students okay the worms are called as the parasites now okay this is how you want to understand the concept okay whom do we called as parasites the one who are depending on the host for their survival so these are all basics children 
So now let us differentiate between biotic, abiotic. Already I told you this one. The abiotic is nothing but all the non-living components. Okay, example, air, water, sunlight, land, temperature. All these are one which does not have life. Biotic is nothing but all the living components which has life like animals, bacteria, fungi, plants. All they have life. And on the basis of this, we have categorized into producers and consumers. Already I have explained who are producers, all the green plants. And also we can take blue green algae because they also produce their own food. Okay. They also produce their own food. So next consumers, they include all the animals. So which depend on the producers. It may be directly or indirectly they are depending on consumers. So these consumers are herbivore, carnivore, omnivore and parasite. Just now I have discussed. Okay. So some of the examples you can give for parasite are lice and cascuta. Herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, I think you are capable to give. Your examples are very good. You can lower classes in the new film. Okay, decomposers also I have explained. Who are decomposers? They are the organisms which include the dead plants and also the animals for their survival. Yes? Okay. Let's now go for the important concept, children. Food chain. What is meant by food chain? The food chain is a series of organisms in which one organism eat another organism or you can write one organism depend on one another organism you can replace this word also say for example you can see grass deer lion see grass is being eaten by the deer deer is being eaten by the lion okay lion may be consumed by the next organism say for example it may be consumed by the vulture may be consumed by the vulture may be consumed by the vulture okay so like this what happened one organism is depending on another for their survival so this is called as food chain in the food chain various steps are there children various steps are there and based on this they will ask questions in the examination 100 percent okay they give more important for this segment based on the various food steps in, in the food chain the various steps are there and here in the various steps what happened energy transfer takes place the transfer of energy takes place and this transfer of energy which we see in the food chain in the various steps we will call them as tropic level say for example i have grass i have grass okay so now what happened grass has been consumed by the whom grass has been consumed by the deer okay it has been consumed by the deer deer is consumed by the lion so when i give the tropic level who comes under first tropic level the grass come under first tropic level, deer come under second tropic level, lion comes under third tropic level, correct? What happened? Food chain has various steps. So these steps, in these steps what happened? The energy get transferred. Energy from the grass get transferred to deer. Energy from deer get transferred to lion. So this is what we will call it as tropic level. Exactly, for example, on the example, so vulture is in which tropic level? Find out the tropic level for vulture and the kelbudu. The grass first, B second, lion third, the vulture will be in the fourth tropic level. It is in the fourth tropic level. This is how we are going to identify in the examination. Understand? Yes. So let's go for the next C. Flow of energy between the tropic level. Very important concept. 100% very important concept. The flow of energy is always unidirectional. Flow of energy is always unidirectional. That means just now I have wrote grass okay and deer and then i told lion or tiger or anything you can write see children the energy which is transferred from the grass to deer that means when deer consumes the grass some energy will get transferred to deer right and then from when deer is being eaten by the lion what happened the lion gets some amount of energy right so this energy which is entered to the lion will not come back to the deer because deer does not consume lion Similarly, the energy which has been transferred to deer from the grass will not come back to grass because deer consumes the grass. Grass does not consume the deer. So, the flow of energy is always one direction. We call it as unidirection. The flow of energy is always unidirection. We call it as one direction. It's very important. Okay. See, always green plants capture 1% of sunlight. Say, for example, from the sun, 1% say for example, it, it, it can take 10,000 kilojoule. Say for example, this green grass takes from the sunlight 
10,000 kilojoule of energy. What happened? From this sunlight, when it traps 10,000 kilojoules of energy, see this grass will undergo lot of life process. Say for example, grass will undergo respiration, grass will undergo for excretion, grass will do many other life activities in its lifetime. So what happened? Most of the energy which has been trapped by the sun into the grass has been used. Only 10% of energy from the grass will be entered to deer when deer consume grass. Deer yavaga grass anna consume maadate. He sun in the enter adanta energy in the grass alli. Grass in maadate maximum amount of energy na use maadakolate. Remaining 10% ee yav trali 10% 10,000 kilojoule alli 10% energy na deer ik send maadate. Andre 1,000 kilojoule na send maadate. Similarly in agatha yavaga deer yavaga Deer and a lion consume maadate. Deer kuda. E 1000 kilojoule of energy e nida deer alli. Deer also do many life process like respiration, transportation, excretion. It all life process deer maadate. So, it all maadi salpa amount and there only little amount of energy is present in this body. Now what happen when lion consumes deer, 10% of energy will enter to lion's body. That means from the deer, 10% is nothing but 100 kilojoule will be entered to lion. This is what 10%. Only 10%, see only 10% of energy is transferred to next tropic level. What happens to remaining 90%? Remaining 90% of energy is used, for the, is used for the life process like digestion, growth, reproduction by the various tropic level. Clear? Does anybody have doubt related to this children? Do you have any doubt related to this? So those who don't have time, you can see in the evening children, no issues. The video is available in the live section. Okay. Now tell me, did you understand how the energy transfer takes place from one tropic level to another tropic level? Do you have any doubt related to this? If you have understood, please drop the message. Okay. Somebody is asking, ma'am, please, uh, you know, explain me once again. How does the flow of energy takes place from one to another? Yes. Okay. Quickly, I'll tell you, okay. The one who did not understand, very simple. See, for example, okay, let me take this example and explain you. The two important things which you have to remember here is children. One is flow of energy is always unidirectional. Okay. And only what happened? Only 10% of energy get transferred to one tropic level to another tropic level. These two are very important point. Very important point. Okay. So let me explain. Somebody is asking, ma'am, uh, I did not understand. Keeping this as an example, I will explain. See, say for example, we have producers. Let us take producers. Who are producers? Always plants. Plants are the producers. Okay. Plants are being consumed by whom? They are consumed by the primary consumers. Let us take the plants are being always consumed by sheep, goat, deer. Let us now take goat. Okay. Now this goat is being consumed by whom? It is being consumed by the humans, lion, tiger, okay. Let me write lion, tiger or anything you can write. And this lion and tiger is consumed by the vulture, okay. So now what are, what are we observing? We are seeing a food chain, okay. Goat consumes the plants, lion consumes the goat and what happened? The vulture consumes the lion, correct. So now what happened? The plants are called as first of all producers. Plants are called as producers. Who are primary consumers? The one who are depending on autotroph, that is the plants, are called as primary consumer. The goat is primary consumer. Who is secondary consumer? The lion is secondary consumer because it is depending on the goat. Who is in the tertiary consumer? The tertiary consumer is the vulture here. So we have this, right? We have this plant. We have this plants. Okay. We have goat. We have lion. We have vulture. Alva. So examinely keltar nimge. Okay. Energy transfer bagge keltar. Say for example, from the sun, the plant have received 1000 kilojoule now. I have, I have a given example as 10,000 kilojoule. They may give any uh, number of kilojoule in the examination. If 10,000 kilojoule in the plant consume from the solar input. So, in the day, plants will undergo many activities. It, it will perform many processes like respiration, transpiration, uh, 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 digestion. Uh, that means uh, we say transportation and transpiration. Excretion, they all perform at the plants. So, plants are laying at 1000 kilojoule of energy consume agi. Remaining energy in agate only 10% of energy. Yavaga goat plants in a consume madata, it will enter to goat's body. 
So, 10 percent of 1000 is how much? 100 kilojoule. 100 kilojoule will enter. From the goat's body, again 10 percent. When lion consumes the goat, what happened? 10 percent of energy. Remaining 90 percent of energy is used by the goat's body. 100 kilojoule only 10 percent and how much? 10 kilojoule will enter to lion's body. So, then when lion dies, the vulture consumes the lion. So, 10 percent in the lion's body is nothing but 1 kilojoule. And extra, you know, you observe Martha, you know, when energy is moving from one uh, tropic level to another tropic level, it get diminished. It get diminished. Flow of energy is unidirectional, but energy get diminished. And then, you energy is diminished. Okay, one the tropic level, in the unknown tropic level, you know, energy is diminished. It's very important. You have to know this. Clear? Okay, let's understand next concept, children. Biomagnification. What is meant by biomagnification? The examinee kate there, the concentration of the harmful chemicals which increases with every next tropic level in a food chain. This is called as biological magnification. The concentration of harmful chemicals. Say for example, what happened when plants, see when, for a, when the plants are growing, there is some amount of chemicals in the plant's body. There were some amount of chemicals in the plant's body. Okay, now what happened? The chemicals which were present in the plant's body, when it is been consumed by the goat, okay, what happened? The chemicals from the plant enter to goat body. So now what happened? Goat body in already sulpa chemicals irate. So plants body nello chemicals, goat body enter again agate. The amount of chemical now increases. Similarly, iga goat in a lion consume again agate. So chemical from this uh, this uh, you know first level, chemical from second level and chemical present in the third level together increases in the third tropic level. This is how what happened, the flow of energy in agate unidirectional, the amount of energy transport is diminished. Again, biological magnification only, concentration of harmful substances in agate, so food chain increase agta agta in agate, concentration level jasti agta agate. Yaru last tropic level in lirta re, our body in the highest chemicals in the highest chemicals yaru last tropic nal irtare avara body nal irutte say for example iga vulture na humans consume maartta idare andre in humans body there is highest level of you know the concentration of chemicals okay so biological magnification bage gottirbek nimge next the maximum already heli nani point na maximum concentration of chemicals get accumulated in who in the human body because we consume all the type of organisms okay so next comes the food web children. What is meant by food web? In the nature, large number of food chains are interconnected. So this chain is called as food web. You can see here plant. See this plant is consumed by the grasshopper. Plants is mean consumed by the mice. And plant is also consumed by the rabbit. Again grasshopper, this has been consumed by the frog. Frog has been consumed by the snake. Now this mice, okay. Now snake also consumes the mice, okay. Similarly, rabbit is, you know, uh, rabbit has depend on, on plants, right? So, this rabbit is being consumed by the wolf and also it is being consumed by the, you know, eagle. So, what happened? There are so many interlinked between each other. So, this is one food chain. Observe here, this is one food chain. So, this is one food chain. If you observe here, this is one food chain. Correct. And now, this is one food chain. This is one food chain. Okay. And this is one food chain. So, now what are you observing? There are different food chains, but they are interlinked. Obviously, they are connecting, uh, you know, finally on the plants. So, these food chains which are interconnected is called as food web. We call it as food web. Okay. So, now let us go to understand environmental problems, children. See, what is meant by environment? What are the environmental problems we are understanding in this lesson? One is, how does the changes take place in the environment because of the human activities? The changes in the environment, it affects us only. What are the changes is been done by the human, it will affect the human only, okay. And you know, our activities also changes the environment around us. So, whatever we are, you know, doing for environment, it is harming us because environment itself is changing because of the human activities. So, human activities leads to pollution and also the deforestation, children. I think you know what is pollution, it may be water pollution, air pollution, deforestation is nothing but the, you know, removal of trees, we say. The number of trees get decreased. Okay, cutting down of trees and the healthy. Way. Let's go for uh, the one more important concept: ozone layer. Ozone layer, bage kelta re. 
what is ozone layer see ozone ozone is nothing but it's a protective blanket around the earth which absorbs most of the harmful ultraviolet radiations of the sun see say for example this is the earth there is earth here okay so now this is your sun this is your sun okay now what happened sun releases some harmful ultraviolet radiations okay these ultraviolet radiations are very dangerous to the earth so now what happened there creates a blanket for the earth earth ke the blanket create agide this blanket is created by the ozone this is created by the ozone so ozone en martta ide sun in the release aguvanta harmful ultraviolet radiation na block martta ide it is blocking the harmful ultraviolet radiations which is been released by the sun which is released by the sun not to not to get entered into the earth earth ke reach agide ro riti idu en martta ide block martta ide is protecting okay so one vele enadru ee uv rays arthige reach aadre enagutte it causes skin cancer cataract that means uh, the diseases related to eyes and also the plants also get destructed it's a very dangerous radiation so this should not enter to the earth that is why we have the ozone layer ozone layer is protecting the you know earth from ultraviolet radiations so what is ozone see this ozone is made up of o3 children that means three atoms of oxygen so o3 layer is present in the higher levels of atmosphere that is in the stratosphere it is present and this ozone is a deadly poison in the ground level ground level and now iruvanta place okay in the atmosphere o3 is very much poison it is present in the stratosphere it is not present in the atmosphere this is the layer where we are surviving so the one more question that you can expect in the exam il kelbodu orge nimge what is mean how is ozone layer is protecting okay anta keltare illi and uh, next keltare how is ozone molecule formed anta keltare in the atmosphere nalli oxygen ide oxygen is made up of o2 oxygen is made up of o2 okay so ee o2 enagutte in the higher level in the higher level the high energy uv radiations break down the o2 molecule andre say for example il earth ide ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ರೀಜನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ರೀಜನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲು ಯು ವಿ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ನ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಬಂದು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಟು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಓ ಟು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಆಗಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಯು ವಿ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫ್ರೀ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಆಗಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಹೀಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಓ ಓ ಓ ನೋಡಿ ಈಗ ಫ್ರೀ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಫ್ರೀ ಐಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಇರುವಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಓಟು ಜೊತೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆದಾಗ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಓ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಆಗೋದು ರೈಟ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಈಗ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಕಂಬೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓ ಟು ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವ್ ದ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಓ ಟು ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಅಟ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಓ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇರುವಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಓಟು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಓಝೋನ್ ಓಝೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಇದನ್ನ ನಿಮಗೆ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಕೇಳುವಂತ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೂಡ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿ ಡೀಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾವಯಲೆಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ಡೀಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ಪಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಯು ವಿ ರೇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ನ ರೀಚ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಝೋನ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಓವರ್ ಅಂಟಾರ್ಟಿಕಾ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಓಝೋನ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅವರು ಓಝೋನ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಂಟಾರ್ಟಿಕಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ದ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಥೆ
to stop the you know uh, refrigerators air conditioners fire extinguishers aerosol sprays you know uh, by manufacturing by using the cfc they told not to use cfc when they are manufacturing refrigerators fire extinguishers and aerosols this is what been you know ordered by the government government have ordered this somebody is asking some doubt please wait for a uh, few minutes okay so government is you know, ordering the companies those who manufacture refrigerators fire extinguishers aerosols air conditioners not to manufacture the refrigerators with the cfc they are telling to manufacture cfc free refrigerators okay next unep that is united national environmental program they have succeeded in forging an agreement to stop the cfc production in the 1986 we call many countries have signed this one okay many countries have signed this you know protocol which is been given by the unep to you know decrease the amount of cfc that you know the protocol we, we will call it as kyoto protocol very important eighthallo kuda telkondide nevu it is called as kyoto protocol all the countries have signed for kyoto protocol so they are manufacturing uh, the cfc free refrigerators and air conditioners next children garbage disposal is a very important concept illi nimge skill based question na keltare one varsha kelidru so one varsha yen question kelidru andre a student has dig a pit okay and he has drop, dropped some glass pieces some glass pieces and some you know the peels of vegetables and fruits and also some metal pieces so after some months he has opened a dig what was the changes that he observed anta kelidru what was the changes he observed anta kelidru can anybody answer so what were the changes observed by the student a student had a student had dug the pit and he has kept all the glass pieces metal pieces along the vegetable pieces in this pit and he closed it with the soil okay what is the changes that has been observed by the student tell me children what changes is been observed by the student after several months what can he observe can he observe any changes children can he observe any changes yes he can see only the glass and metal piece why he can see only the glass and metal piece why does he see see only the glass and metal piece you must write the reason children that is very important see you must write in the examination students found only glass and metal piece because they were non biodegradable they were non biodegradable okay this is the what this is what you have to write in the examination whereas vegetable peels are biodegradable they got easily decomposed with the soil so that is why they could not be seen after few months anta baribeku you main agi illi depict maadbekagiranta concept to biodegradable and non biodegradable anta baribeku vegetables easily undergo decomposition because they are biodegradable glass pieces metal pieces will not undergo bio de decomposition because they are non biodegradable okay yes See, we can improve our lifestyle, children. All of us, we can improve our lifestyle. So, in the accumulation of, you know, uh, you know, how can we improve lifestyle? Because uh, how can we improve lifestyle? Uh, you know, if you ask me, we are secreting large amount of waste in the environment. So, we have to avoid secreting the large amount of waste, and also we have to learn the, the proper segregation of waste that will improve our lifestyle. Okay. See, garbage contain the following materials. One is the biodegradable, and second one is the non-biodegradable. The substances which can decompose by the action of microorganisms. Say, for example, I told you vegetable peels and fruit peels. When it is put into the pit, what happen? They undergo decomposition because of the action of the microorganisms. They are called as biodegradable. Similarly, the non-biodegradable substances like you know the polythene bags, plastic bags, metal pieces. synthetic fibers and some of the radioactive waste and pesticides they do not decompose by the action of microorganisms hence they are called as non biodegradable the any skill based question if they ask in the examination do understand the concept and answer children okay so it's very important to know this so the major topics of this lesson i have completed so finally we have to understand how have we have to dispose the waste also see how do microorganisms do that the microorganisms release some enzymes children and these enzymes will decompose these enzymes will decompose the materials but the enzymes are specific in their action that means 
why enzymes cannot decompose all the materials because it is not possible to decompose the non biodegradable the enzymes which has been released by the enzymes which has been released by the microorganisms so called decomposers can only decompose the biodegradable not the non biodegradable not the non biodegradable clear so these are some of the methods of you know waste disposal we can see the biodegradable waste can be used in the biogas plant children to produce the biogas and manure so this is how we can dispose the waste sea waste treatment can be done for the plants the drain water can contain many impurities that can be cleaned in sea waste treatment before adding into the rivers land filling that means the waste are buried in low lying areas or they are compacted by rolling with the bulldozers so these are the other methods of waste disposal that means how can we dispose the waste we are telling uh, basically i am telling composting see you can put the biodegradable waste into the soil and you know prepare a compost out of it recycling is an important process non biodegradable uh, substances always has to undergo recycle like plastic bottles glass jars all those things and uh, reuse see conventional techniques uh, to use an item again and again like newspaper for making the envelopes and also the glass jars for you know storing some of the uh, uh, substances all these things can be followed okay so let us now focus on the questions which has been asked in the examination children see what are the different question which has been asked in the examination in 2022 in the examination 2022 they have asked this question children okay what is the role of decomposers in an ecosystem anta kelidare just now i have explained what is the role of decomposers anta kelthare exam alli so what will be the role of decomposers what do you write the decomposers en madutte decomposers they decompose decomposers they decompose the biodegradable substances the decomposers biodegradable substances okay the decomposers biodegradable substances by the action of by the action of microorganisms anta baritira by the action of microorganisms just now i told this kind of question will be asked in the examination okay they may ask in the examination clear similarly so write any two differences between biodegradable and non biodegradable kelidare 2022 nalli biodegradable enagutte they, they decomposes with the action of you know the microorganisms non biodegradable they do not decompose with the help of or action of microorganisms biodegradable enagutte example you can write biodegradable uh, you can write peels of vegetables peels of fruits all these things we can write okay and for non biodegradable you can write metal pieces glass pieces and also the plastic containers okay all these are examples for non biodegradable these two points you can write you will get full marks otherwise they can also uh, you can also choose this question write a grassland food chain and name the different tropic levels anta kelidare grassland food chain so how do you write you write grass write grass deer okay then you write you know uh, you can write lion you can also write you choose grasshopper children you can also choose grasshopper frog snake all those things you can choose let me write a simple food chain so this is vulture you can choose different food chain so you you have to write a tropic level so grass come under first tropic level deer come under second tropic level lion comes under third tropic level the vulture come uh, comes under fourth tropic level is a neat ag baribek nim exam alli comes under first tropic level anta ee riti nimu mention maadbeku okay yes next question explain the flow of energy and the harmful chemicals in an ecosystem anta kelta idare explain the flow of chemicals and harmful substances in the you know uh, energy so do you know this children can you answer this anybody try to answer this question will anybody try to answer this question children my question is okay my question is explain the flow of energy and harmful chemicals in an ecosystem explain the flow of energy and harmful chemicals in an ecosystem how do you explain this how do you explain i already i told you what is flow of, uh, and how does an energy flow how does energy flow anta ee just na explain maadde enanta helde flow of energy is unidirectional anta helde flow of energy is unidirectional first point idre nive exam al barebeku okay 
flow of energy is unidirectional and the energy that is captured by the autotrophs does not revert back into the solar input. Next baritira, unidirection yaki anta baritira. Energy in agate, energy captured by the solar input. Okay, energy captured by the solar input does not, you know, I think you are able to understand. The energy that is captured by the autotrophs does not revert back to the solar input. That means, sun gives some amount of energy to the plants. They are called as autotrophs, right? Plants are called as autotrophs. The energy which is trapped by the sun into plant will not revert back, will not revert back. That is what I am telling. The energy that is captured by the autotrophs does not revert back into solar input. Okay. Now what happens? This energy will pass it to herbivore. That means the one which is depending on the plants. The energy which will transfer to herbivore. That means say plants. Okay. Now what happened from herbivore? What happened? The energy progressively moves to different tropic levels. You have to write that from NRB what had happened, what happened, the energy get transferred to carnivore. So next point, what do you write? When energy is transferring, when energy is transferring, when energy is transferring, when energy is transferring, what happened? The energy is transferring. One important thing what you have to mention is the energy get diminished. When energy is transferring, what happened? The energy is transferring from or through different tropic levels through different tropic levels they are passing to different tropic levels different tropic levels so what will happen energy get diminished that means energy get diminished in hagandre energy get diminished and you know energy get diminished and then agathe solar input in the 1000 kilojoule agathe in agathe plant ge 100 kilojoule bandhirathe okay plant in the herbivore ge in agathe 10 kilojoule bandhirathe herbivore in the carnivore ge 1 kilojoule bandhirathe in agathe energy transfer is very very less they get diminished anta head tv artha akidhya adhe rithi in agathe accumulation of toxic substances increases accumulation of toxic substances accumulation of toxic substance we say biological magnification accumulation of toxic substances what happen accumulation of toxic substances increases it increases when we move from one tropic level to energy get diminished okay but toxic substances get increases from one tropic level to another tropic level this is what you want to clearly understand okay i think you have cleared about this concept children clear so the next question is the next question is the food chain generally consists of only three to four steps why food steps food chain only consists of three to four steps why it consists only three to four steps just now i told you children energy decreases right energy decreases as we move to different tropic levels so energy what happened energy decreases energy decreases as we move as we move what happened energy decreases that is why generally it consists of three to four steps decomposers play an important role repeated question just now we gave you protecting ozone layer is necessary because 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 to protect or you can write like this because sun produces what sun gives sun gives harmful ultraviolet radiations sun give harmful uv radiations these uv radiations these uv radiations what happened these uv rays are harmful they are harmful it causes it causes you can write skin cancer cataract anything you can write causes skin cancer and cataract okay so it's important so it's important so it's important then you write same thing so it's important to protect the ozone layer clear the next question here is in the environment materials using the uh, bio, materials causing the biomagnification so of options get recycled quickly decomposes only the soil remains as permanent residue as stored are stored in less amount in the tropic levels see in environmental materials causing the biomagnification what happened children say who will say the answer i'm waiting for the answer tell me in environment materials causing okay in environment materials causing the biomagnification what happened to that 
in environment materials causing the bio magnification so what will be the answer for this children gets recycled quickly get recycled quickly so aisha is telling that c is answer aisha is telling c is answer let me also wait for others so sai is telling biodegradable okay what would be the answer for this in the environment what happened the materials that causes the bio magnification which materials causes bio magnification children the chemical substances causes the bio magnification correct na will the chemical substances undergo you know uh, easily uh, uh, will they mix up with the soil i'm asking will they easily mix up with the soil will the chemical substances easily mix up with this with the soil it does not mix up right chemical substances easily does not mix up with the soil so what would be the answer then what would be your answer so some are saying c as answer okay two are not trying to answer okay fine okay see once again i repeat get recycled quickly decomposes only in the soil remain as a permanent residue are stored in the less amount in tropic level okay so who all told c i think aisha has told c right so aisha yours is right answer why because See, I will give the reason also, children. I will tell you the reason. This, this is the right answer. Why? Because see, these biomagnification substances are the chemicals. They are the chemicals first of all. Okay, they will not recycle first of all. Re they do not recycle. They do not get recycle. Recycle in the sense they do not get decomposed in the soil. They stored less amount in the tropic level. No, as what happened, the tropic level increases. What happened? The amount of chemicals. present in their body increases just now i told accumulation of toxic substances increases so this is also not correct the right answer is it remains like that as a permanent residue in the environment so this is the right answer okay so the next question children see as energy moves progressively through various tropic levels in the food chain it is no longer available to previous level this was asked in 2019 public examination okay in the public examination they have asked this question important as energy move progressively through various tropic levels in the food chain uh, food chain it is no longer available in the previous level how do you answer this what happened the flow of energy is unidirectional just now i told so you will write the flow of energy is unidirectional okay you must know that how the energy is getting transferred and what is happening adu gottirbeku nimge artha aagidya see as energy moves progressively through various tropic level of the food chain no longer available what do you write because flow of energy you write flow of energy is flow of energy is unidirectional anta baritira flow of energy is unidirectional anta exam alli baritira and next me ven maartira so the energy the energy the energy which which you no know, is consumed is consumed by different organisms different different organisms different organisms okay different organisms will not will not get back get back to previous level not get back to previous level okay important and you bari bekagiru ee one word this statement is very important flow of energy is unidirectional anta baritira okay na yes so answer maadi iga observe the food chain ig hel kottidini alva heli answer nodona observe the food chain grass grasshopper frog snake and eagle the energy available at the first tropic level is the first tropic level is what grass is 5000 joule 5000 joule ide then the amount of energy available in the snake snake alli est irutte find out maadi who will say first answer find out so what is the amount of energy is present in the snake what is the amount of energy present in see 10% of energy find out maadi so many are telling 5 joule very good okay so let's check whether your answer is correct grass in the grasshopper again agutte 500 joule barutte grass hopper in the frog again barutte 50 joule barutte frog in the snake again barutte 5 joule barutte correct the right answer is 5 joule okay 
This is how you identify children. This is how you identify. Very good. Many of your answer. Puri, Purvika, Aisha, uh, Sai, I think uh, Kamal Nathan, Sujan, Usha, Pastor, that is Joseph, and Umer Khan. Many of you are, right, are giving right answer. Very, very good. Yes. Let's go for next uh, two more questions are left out, children. See, what are the changes that non-biodegradable waste are posing in creating the clean environment? That means there are so many non-biodegradable substances are there. Okay. So, how are they creating the problem to environment? And how the change in lifestyle does the does has increased the problem and the kelthadini. So, how are they first of all causing the problems and the new baribi? How are they causing problems? The non-biodegradable waste, first of all, do not decompose. You should write first of all, non-biodegradable, you should write here, non-biodegradable, do not decompose. First point, you must write this. They do not decompose, okay, non-biodegradable substances, they do not decompose, they accumulate in the environment and causes biomagnification, you write, they causes biomagnification, they causes non-biodegradable causes biomagnification, it causes biomagnification, okay, so this is what you have to write next point and what happened as a result of this what happened, the pollution level increases, hence pollution level Hence, pollution level, pollution level increases. These three points you have to write firstly. Okay, pollution level increases. Both the water pollution and air pollution, all the pollution increases. Next, how you have to, you know, uh, how the change in lifestyle does has increased the problem. See, we have changed our lifestyle. We are using more of plastics, right? So, because of, you see, human, human lifestyle, human lifestyle has changed, has changed the problem, the environmental problem because of, because of using, using most non-biodegradable substances. We are using most non-biodegradable substances, okay, that you have to know. So, always we have to segregate things, okay. The non-biodegradable ways such as pesticides, they deplete the soil fertility, okay. Completely soil fertility in vanish. So, we have to always, you know, check all those things. You know, how much amount of fertilizers has to be used uh, to improve the fertility of soil. All those things we have to check. Otherwise, what happened? And not, when we continuously use the non-biodegradable substances, what happened? Because of our lifestyle, what happened? The problem is getting increased. Children, now answer this question. The crop field, forest, aquarium, lake. Classify them into natural and artificial ecosystem. Crop field, forest, aquarium, lake. Which is natural here, which is natural and which is an artificial ecosystem. Artificial means what? It is a man-made, man-made ecosystem. And give four reasons. Consider garden as an ecosystem. You try to answer this question. Which is natural here? Which is natural? Which is the natural ecosystem? Okay, natural is forest and lake. Artificial is crop field and aquarium. Purvika has given the right answer. Very good. So, natural is what? Natural is the forest. Forest is a natural, you know, uh, ecosystem. Because it is not created by the man. Lake is natural ecosystem. Crop field. Crop field is created by man. Okay. Aquarium. Aquarium is also created by the man. So, this is artificial ecosystem. Okay. Very importantly, you have to know. So, that's all for the, this session, children. I have completed our environment lesson completely. We don't forget to study ecosystem. Very important concept. Revise ecosystem. Revise food chain and food web. Revise about tropic level. Revise biomagnification, ozone layer, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. And don't forget to remember the 10% law. That is flow of energy is unidirectional. Only very less concepts are there, children, in this, uh, you know, our environment. Only few concepts are there. These are very easy to remember. You get only 2 to 3 marks from this lesson. This 2 to 3 marks is also very important. So, to get this 2 to 3 marks, you want to go through all these concepts. Okay. So, in the textbook, if we look at the textbook, okay. So, when we look at the textbook, I told you this. This activity is given in the textbook. So, you might have seen the aquarium, Antakoti. You might have seen in the aquarium. Let us try to design one. What are the things? that we need to keep in mind when we create an aquarium. When we create an aquarium, what is needed? We need a free space. 
for you know uh, for to keep the uh, to keep the fish we need a large jar we need water we need oxygen and put illa kottidara answer we can provide oxygen through the an oxygen pump because organisms need oxygen right so these are all the required things that uh, is needed by uh, a person to create an aquarium the question here is here so if we add few aquatic plants and animals it can become self sustaining system can you think how is this happen see if you add a few aquatic plants and animals it becomes a self sustaining system because why aquatic organisms need water food all the things you are providing right ah uh, so that is why it is becoming self sustaining system an aquarium is an example for human made ecosystem that is nothing but it is an artificial ecosystem what kind of an ecosystem it is it is an artificial ecosystem see can we leave the aquarium as such after we set up andre ee aquarium on maadidira idana hige bitpidira can you leave the setup as it is can you leave this setup as it is after creating this aquarium can you leave this setup as it is hige bitpidira will you not take care about it children will you take care about aqu uh, this aqu uh, aquarium or will you not take care or if you are taking care why do you why are you going to take care why do you take care about aquatic you know uh, aquatic organisms or uh, the aquarium why do you take care what is the importance tell me what is the importance that you have to take care so so many are telling that we will clean it so what is the purpose of cleaning the aquarium See, do you clean the lake or pond or river you don't clean right you don't clean this why do you clean aquarium then what is the need of cleaning aquarium you see in the ponds also aquarium that is there is uh, so many aquatic life is there in the rivers also aquatic life is there similarly you have aquatic life in the aquarium then why do you not clean pond and lake why do you clean this uh, uh, you know aquarium when you are telling it will die without sufficient oxygen yes of course your right answer so it is man made if you are selling answer okay okay fine some are telling it is uh, okay to maintain health many are giving different answers so i will also give you one answer see what may be the reason why you clean because see an aquarium means one thing is man made it is a man made ecosystem see the both biotic components and abiotic components are present here right so they are present you have kept an aerator everything See, if you don't clean it, okay, what happen? If you don't clean it, decomposition of the unused food particle takes place. That means, see, some plants may be dead. Some plants may be dead, okay. And these organisms also release waste product from their body. Waste that means excreta is released from their body. These things what happen? They turn poisonous after few things, few days. They turn poisonous after few days. so now what happen accumulation of accumulation of toxic substances increases in the aquarium okay as a result of it what happen all the fishes die because one thing their you know surrounding the water is not clean water is not clean and also they don't get proper oxygen to survive to respire okay so the tank requires regular cleaning so in cleaning what happen 20 to 30, 30 percent of water has to be uh you know change it always fresh water has to be poured to that it has to be replaced you should not remove all the water at least some amount of water at least has to be removed okay so otherwise what happen the organisms may suffocate and they may die clear yes i think you understood all the concept which i have explained in today's class children if you find this video useful don't forget to like this video so i will come up with hereditary and evolution concept tomorrow in tomorrow's morning's class so what are the doubts you have related to hereditary and evolution concept do drop in the telegram telegram nal drop maadi nimge en major agi en en doubts ide anta drop maadi telegram alli related to that i'll be explaining the concept in tomorrow's class what is biomagnification anta joseph kelta idra already i have explained the biomagnification is nothing but accumulation of toxic substance anta heltivi accumulation of toxic substances accumulation of toxic substances substances in a food chain in a food chain in a food chain results in biomagnification okay and as we go higher what happen the amount of chemicals present in their uh, present in the body of organisms is more 
ओके यस क्लियर सो व्हाट इज मीन बाय वल्चर अंत केल्तिदरा वल्चर इज अ बर्ड ओके fine children i think uh, let's end the class it's already 7:20 right now so i'll meet you all tomorrow in the morning session so do drop your uh, uh, opinion in the comment area thank you so much for being in live have a nice day somebody is asking what is meant by toxic the toxic is nothing but poison toxic is nothing but poison okay poisonous substances